Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a video remembering John Lennon. So today is December 8th, and of course for Beatle fans, December 8th is just a very, very, very sad, sad day, uh, because of course December 8th, uh, 1980 is the day John Lennon passed away. And if you can believe it, that was 40 years ago today. Uh, now, I am uh, 36, so I wasn't ever alive when John Lennon was alive, which it's hard for me to believe because John Lennon is such a big part of my life. Uh, I've followed his music. Obviously, I study his music. I read about him as a person, and uh, he's just had such a huge impact on me, and I wasn't even alive while he was alive. So obviously, John Lennon is just one of the biggest cultural icons, biggest musical icons uh, of of our time and uh, his life was just so important obviously and his music so important and uh, I just wanted to remember him today uh, on December 8th and now what I thought I would do is very similar to what I did uh, in one of my last videos uh, rem remembering George Harrison is I'm gonna go through all of John Lennon's solo albums or at least the ones I have over here and I'm going to try to pick one track from each one uh, that uh, if I had to decide that was just the one track that was my favorite from the album, uh, that's the one I would pick. So here we go. And by the way, this is just like a fun way to talk about John Lennon and talk about his solo work and uh, just remember him on this day. So here we go. The first album is a live album by uh, the Plastic Ono Band. Uh, and this was recorded in 1969 at... Uh, the event called Live Peace in Toronto. And this is uh, from a concert that John did uh, while he was still in the Beatles. He was officially still a Beatle when he uh, recorded this album, this live album. Uh, and he got, um, along with Yoko, he got Eric Clapton, Klaus Vorman, and Alan White to join him at this uh, festival. And he basically played a lot of like classic old rock and roll songs that he knew how to play without having to rehearse. Uh, and he threw in um, two or three rather newish original songs. And of those three new original songs, he did uh, Year Blues from the White Album, Cold Turkey, which was uh, going to be a new single for the Plastic Ono Band, and Give Peace a Chance. So, and the other side, by the way, has two songs uh, that are Yoko's songs. But if I had to choose one song from this album, I would probably choose Year Blues just because it's so cool to see John play Year Blues live. Now, he only ever played it live two times, I believe. Um, the other time was for the Rolling Stones' Rock and Roll Circus, uh, which was a filmed, um, it was gonna be, I think, like a TV show, but it didn't actually ever come out until much, much later, like in the like 90s, I think, is when it came out. Um, but as far as a very true, in front of a live audience uh, recording of Year Blues, this is the album to listen to it. So I would choose Year Blues from live piece in Toronto. Um, next up, this is John Lennon's, what I consider his first official solo album. This is the John Lennon Plastic Ono Band album. And this is released in 1970. And this is of course just a groundbreaking album, arguably one of John Lennon's best solo albums. Uh, I certainly love it. When I first heard this, it really um, just kind of shocked me. Like I'm sure it shocked a lot of people. Um, I can't even imagine what it was like to listen to this when it actually came out. Um, and it's just, I love every single song on this record. Um, but if I had to pick one song um, from this, I'd probably pick God. I think God is just an amazing, amazing song. Uh, I love the way John sings it. I love what he's singing about. Um, and of course, it's just, it's just like a jaw-dropping song. To me, God is like, John had certain songs um, that were just, they kind of like left you in your tracks. And those certain songs were like Strawberry Fields, uh, A Day in the Life, uh, Because, the song Imagine, which is coming up. Uh, and then I think also uh, God. There's just certain songs that were just at a certain, in a certain uh, area of John Lennon's creative ability that just would leave you just with your jaw dropped and just amazing songs. So I will choose God from Plastic Ono Van. But I like the whole album, by the way. Uh, next up, as we just talked about, is Imagine. Um, 
arguably John's best known solo work. Um, and it's certainly an album that I like a whole lot. Um, when I first heard it, I was just kind of blown away of just how amazing it was. And I still am blown away by how amazing it is even today when I listen to it. Uh, and if I had to choose my favorite song from this album, um, I love How Do You Sleep. I think it's, as far as the sound, overall sound, I think it's my favorite song as far as sound goes. But if I really, really had to choose, I would choose Jealous Guy. Jealous Guy, the way John sings it, the way the strings come in, I love the bass that Klaus Vormann's playing on it. Um, I just love everything about Jealous Guy. So I will choose Jealous Guy from the Imagine album. Okay, uh, moving on to, I'm gonna cover this up because I don't want this to be on YouTube. There's a pretty, uh, pretty nasty word on the cover here. I'm not gonna talk about it. But uh, this is John's uh, album, Sometime in New York City. Uh, and this is a very political album. This is one of my least favorite of John's solo albums, but it still has some stuff that I like on it. If I had to choose one song in here uh, that I liked on this album, I would choose the song Angela. Um, it's a very, very interesting song, and he sings it with Yoko, and I think it's one of the best songs that they sung together. They sound really good uh, together singing that song, so I would choose Angela. But I also like um, the Yoko song on here. Uh, what is that one called? Um, oh, I can't remember it right now. I'm sure if I open it up, I will find it on here somewhere. Oh, Sisters, Oh, Sisters. I like a lot on this album as well. But that's a Yoko song, so we're just choosing John songs right now. So I'm going to choose Angela from Sometime in New York City. I also like Luck of the Irish, which I see on the back here. Um, moving on. This is John's Mind Games album, released in 1973. This is, in my opinion, uh, his most underrated solo album. Uh, it's got some great, great songs. John was, um, he kind of got away from writing really, really amazing, amazing melody when he did Sometime in New York City, just because he was trying to just write quick songs and more of like protest kind of folk songs. So the melody wasn't as important as normal. It was more about the words and the sentiment of the song. With Mind Games, he returned to his just really creative uh, chord changes, amazing melodies, uh, and it's just one of my all-time favorite albums. And if I had to choose a favorite song on this one, it's actually an easy choice for me because it's one of my all-time favorite John songs. It's a song called I Know, I Know, and it's just a brilliant, brilliant song. Um, and I love so much about that song. I love the way John sings it, of course. I also love the words to that song. And there are a lot of like fan theories that that song is kind of directed towards Paul, um, like a slightly like a John kind of apologizing to Paul. I don't really know if that's true or not. It, obviously, it would be nice if that was true, but that's never been proven and it probably never will be proven. But besides that, I just think it's a great, great song. So I know, I know from Mind Games, it's definitely my favorite. Moving on to John Lennon's Walls and Bridges album, another of my favorite uh, John Lennon solo album. Uh, and at times, this is my favorite John Lennon solo album. Uh, it's just got great songs, as always, and just the band on here is absolutely amazing. They're just doing great stuff. Jim Keltner on drums. Uh, just Elton John is on two tracks on this album. Just a great, great record. And if I had to choose one song from this album, I think I would choose Old Dirt Road, which is a song that John wrote with Harry Nielsen. And Harry Nielsen, as you probably all know, is one of my favorite artists as well. And during this time period, which is quote unquote John's lost weekend, he was hanging out with Harry Nielsen a lot. In fact, uh, he produced one of Harry Nielsen's albums called Pussycats, which is an album that I love a lot. Um, and so Harry Nielsen and John were hanging out a lot and John was writing Old Dirt Road and he needed, needed a little, not help, but he was looking for a few lines to add into the song and Harry Nielsen added some lines to the song. So they ended up co-writing the song together and actually Harry Nielsen sings backing vocals on Old Dirt Road on this album as well. So just a great, great track and I love Walls and Bridges. I think it's, uh, I think it's underrated. I will, I will go on record as saying that. So Walls and Bridges by John Lennon. Moving on to John Lennon's Rock and Roll album. Now, this album, in a lot of ways, um, I think it's kind of misunderstood. 
Uh, but this is really a groundbreaking album in the sense that a lot of people now, or a lot, a lot of people, but a lot of, um, a lot of artists, what they'll do is they will go back and perform songs that they grew up with and do a whole covers album. And for someone like John Lennon to do that at this point in his career, it was pretty, it was pretty weird, pretty out of left field, I would say. Um, but it was just John wanting to have fun and wanting to kind of cut loose and not have to worry about writing songs and being a producer. So he got in a producer, he got Phil Spector to uh, oversee the sessions. And of course, for those who don't know, it was actually a disaster. Um, John was drinking a lot. Phil Spector was being crazy as usual. And those initial sessions, they, produ- they did record a bunch of songs, but a lot of them weren't, weren't usable. And Phil Spector ended up running away and taking master tapes with him. So then John put the album on hold and then decided to record a proper album and worked on Walls and Bridges. Um, but then after Walls and Bridges was done, he went back to rock and roll uh, took the band from Walls and Bridges and recorded some more tracks. So half the tracks on this album are Phil Spector produced, half of them are just John Lennon produced tracks. Um, but it's a really, really fun album. And the song on here that I would choose would be a song by Chuck Berry called You Can't Catch Me, which is a song that John borrowed the opening line, uh, Here Come Old Flat Top. He borrowed that line and used it in the Beatles song, Come Together. And of course, famously, John was sued uh, by Chuck Berry's publishing company because that's a copyright infringement. Uh, And so as part of the settlement, John said he would cover um, some of those songs from that publishing company, which happened to be uh, You Can't Catch Me. But John sounds great on You Can't Catch Me, and it sounds very similar to Come Together. So I I like that whole story, and I love the recording of You Can't Catch Me. So definitely worth checking out on the Rock and Roll album. Also a fantastic cover uh, taken of John um, in Hamburg. And you have Paul and... I think it's Paul and George, but it might be Paul and Stuart. Or actually, it might be Paul, Stuart, and George walking by in a blur. Um, and uh, that's taken by a guy named Jürgen, I think his name. What is that his name? Jürgen something. Jürgen Volmar, I believe, was his name. The, the uh, photographer who took that. And actually, the story behind that, we're getting a little off... A track here, but might as well talk about it because it's talking about John. Uh, the story behind this album cover is that uh, the very first Beatle Fest was happening and John was interested in it. So he had his then girlfriend, Mae Pang, go down to Beatle Fest and kind of check it out. And she ended up uh, meeting um, the photographer, Jurgen, was down there. Uh, I think it's Jurgen. I think maybe I'm totally wrong. Some of you are probably shouting right now saying, It's this guy. Um, yeah, it is Jurgen. Okay. I was right. Thank you. <laughs> um, so she ended up meeting Jurgen, who was there selling some of his prints uh, at the Beatle Fest, and she saw this cover and thought John would love it. So she bought she bought a, a copy of it, and John did love it, and that's how he ended up using it for this album cover. So, kind of a cool little connection to Beatle Fest there. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is John's uh, one of his first compilations. I uh, will again cover up this word again it is on here. Uh, this is Shave Fish. And uh, for this album, uh, if I had to choose a song, I would choose the song Instant Karma. Instant Karma is one of John's best songs, in my opinion. Uh, and it's just an amazing, amazing song. Uh, I love the video for it, too, with Yoko knitting and just a great, great video. So Instant Karma all the way. Excellent, excellent, too. Uh, moving on, let me do this. Um, this is John and Yoko's album, Double Fantasy, released in 1980. This is, of course, John's last album he released while he was still alive. And um, this is an album for me that's uh, it's always been kind of a mixed bag. I don't love every single song on here, uh, but the songs that I do love are some of my all-time favorite John songs. And the song I would choose on this record um, is Watching the Wheels. Watching the Wheels is just uh, a brilliant, brilliant song um it like sums up uh john's state of mind at that time at that time as far as he took a break from music for like five years to raise his son sean um and of course there's a lot of controversy around that as as to how much of a break he actually took um but 
anyway, we won't get into that. But I love the song Watching the Wheels. It's an amazing tune. And uh, But this album does have a lot of great songs on it, like Just Like Starting Over is great. I'm Losing You is fantastic. Um, Dear Yoko is really cool. Uh, Beautiful Boy is great as well. But um, yeah, Watching the Wheels for me is the one from this album that I love. Then, the first album released after John passed away, uh, these are songs that he and Yoko were working on um, uh, right before he passed away, right after Double Fantasy. And uh, this album I actually like a bit more than Double Fantasy. Uh, this is Milk and Honey, of course. And if I had to choose a song from this album, I would choose um, I Don't Want to Face It. I Don't Want to Face It is so great. Um, but again, this album has a lot of great songs like Grow Old With Me is really, really cool. It's just a demo he did. I also really like, I got to mention it, the Yoko song on here, Let Me Count the Ways. It's a really, really beautiful song uh, from Yoko. So that's the Milk and Honey album. Uh, and now we have two kind of honorable mention records. Um, this is a live album by John Lennon called John Lennon Live in New York City. This is recorded in 1972. Um, uh, from for the one to one charity concert he recorded at Madison Square Garden, um, and there were two shows that were both recorded, and unfortunately the one they released is the show that's not quite as good as the other show that you can find on bootleg. Now of course there are rumors that they're going to re-release um, this whole album with both shows. That would be great, um, but for the time being this is what we have as far as uh, live John Lennon uh, from the mid 70s like our early 70s and um it's not all that great i gotta admit i don't listen to this album very much uh if hardly ever at all uh i just the sound is kind of weird on here in my opinion um there's two drummers and there's a lot of like kind of weird flamming going on flamming for those who don't know is when if you have two drummers playing and the downbeat is one two like that you know and it's if one drummer if they don't hit it right together, you get like a sound. I'm exaggerating, but like instead of hitting it right on the beat, one of them misses it and you get like a. So for some reason that really bothers me a lot. And on this album that happens a lot. Um, if I had to choose one song from this album though, I suppose I would choose uh, Come Together just cause it's cool to hear John singing Come Together uh, cause it's a Beatles song. That's the only Beatles song he does on this record. Um, it's funny though, he does it in a different key. It's in a higher key. So he kind of has a hard time singing it uh, as anyone would in singing in a higher key than a key that you're, uh, you know, naturally singing in. But, you know, it's an interesting album to own, that's for sure. And I look forward to if they ever re-release it because that other concert is much, much better. And last but not least, this is an album by John Lennon. Uh, released in 1986. By the way, uh, Live New York City was also released in 1986. Um, this is an album called uh, Men Love Avenue. And this cover was created by Andy Warhol, which is very, very cool. So the back cover also is an Andy Warhol creation. And this album's kind of a weird one in the sense that it's just kind of a bunch of outtakes from his Lost Weekend. So you get songs from... Uh, well, some actually, some one of the songs from like the Mind Games time period, I believe, uh, Rock and Roll People, um, and then outtakes from the Rock and Roll album, and also outtakes from Walls and Bridges. Now, if I had to pick a, my favorite song from this, uh, there are two songs on here that you can only find on this album. I think maybe, of course, now that there's been a bunch of compilations by John, you could probably get these songs also on those. I could be wrong, but at the time, you can only find these two songs on this album. And those songs are Here We Go Again and Rock and Roll People. And if I had to pick one song from this album, I would choose Here We Go Again. It's a cool, kind of a cool, dream, dreamy, kind of psychedelic song. Uh, it's not anything absolutely amazing or anything like that, but it's cool to hear because any song that John did uh, is generally going to be pretty good. So I would definitely choose Here We Go Again from the Men Love Avenue album. But this album is actually pretty cool, though. I love, I love outtakes. I'm a sucker for that. Uh, especially for uh, outtakes from Walls and Bridges. So you get a bunch of those on side two. So Men Love Avenue. Okay, well, those are John Lennon's solo albums that I have in my collection. And uh, yeah, we're just going to remember John today and uh, remember him as the 
amazing songwriter, singer, musician, uh, cultural icon uh, that he was and that he continues to be to this day. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned. Always more videos, always more records. And uh, that's it for now. So take care and bye for now.